Hi everybody. So I thought that I would go live for one of today's videos. So if you have been here for many Vlogmas, we are doing two videos a week on Sundays and Thursdays, but this week you'll actually get three. You can see my little reindeer bum in the corner. So I don't typically go live on YouTube because I make a ton of mistakes when I'm filming. So this is kind of a special first or a special festive holiday season. We are back on the curly girl journey. Yes, I see your comments. I know I have been flat ironing my hair quite a bit lately, but that's also because, and curly girls, if you're watching, I think you'll understand, and I would love some product recommendations from you, but I feel like in the summertime, my hair is so happy, and then come these drier months, it becomes unhappy in some way, and I'm using different products. I'm trying out new things. It was pretty solid yesterday. I would say if I were editing a video, I will insert a picture here, but I can't do that because we're live. So also I am attempting a little bit of a red lip, which isn't coming off the same way on camera that it is in person. It looks more like the thumbnail than actually in this footage. But if you'll remember last year, if you've been here also, thank you for sticking around. Even when I film with lipstick on my teeth, I filmed an entire Elf on the Shelf video with red lipstick all over the front row of my teeth, and I had to refilm it, so I've been hesitant to wear anything red on my lips ever since, but because you are close to me since we are on my laptop camera and not on my vlogging camera, I feel like I'll be able to see it. So let's get into the purpose of today's video besides this cashmere hot cocoa sweater and my bubble bar earrings. Always a reason to film. Today I wanted to show you my nails. I wanted to talk to you about stocking stuffers for your kiddos and what is your type of gifting strategy as a parent. I feel like my husband and I are minimalists when it comes to gift giving and that doesn't mean, especially if you've seen our Elf on the Shelf videos, Tinsel brings a gift, a book, every day and an activity. So for example, today, if you're watching this on Sunday or you're watching this live, thank you. Um, we are going to the Polar Express this afternoon, which is a train here on Cape Cod that reenacts the like hot cocoa scene. It's an actual moving vessel. This is my train motion. And it's an hour and a half. So this morning, Tinsel brought Callie a little Minnie Mouse because we have so many of them. She brought or he brought her the Polar Express book and tickets to the Polar Express. So when I say minimalism, I don't mean that we believe in like four gifts only during this time of year. Um, something, oh, what's the saying? Something they need, something to read, something to do, something to wear. There's a rhyme. I can't remember it. If you know what I'm talking about, will you put it in the comments below? We just tend to be minimalists in terms of toys. I've mentioned this in years, years past, that my daughter isn't really like a toy player. She likes activities. She likes things to do, but she won't necessarily like sit with a specific toy and play for a long period of time. But if you give her a cardboard box and markers, she will go to town for hours and decorate and create a world for herself. So when we're talking about minimalism, because I'm not, look at this extra gold reindeer with a faux fur shawl. I'm not really a minimalist, but I don't like a lot of clutter per se. So I wanted to show you what is going in Callie's stocking this year. Callie is seven years old. She's in first grade and she's a creative kiddo. So I wanted to show you kind of my ideas. This isn't going to be an overwhelm. I really pared it down this year in terms of the stocking because normally our stockings are pretty small. If you've seen any of our like decorate with me videos, our stockings are nautical. They're relatively little and they're skinny and tight. There's no like wiggle room or stretch in the stocking itself. So 
I want to make sure that the things that we're getting her actually do fit in her stocking. And normally I have like a pile on the ground and then it takes us so long on Christmas morning. Are any of your kiddos super long gift openers? I am because I love the experience. Callie is me. She likes to fold the, the wrapping paper back and I do wrap everything that goes in her stocking. I'll show you the wrapping paper I'm going to use. It's so cute. She just takes a long time. She wants to inspect everything. So she's not like a terror open, bam, 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 let's move on to the next gift. She's pretty methodical. So the first Christmas that we actually did like a full stocking and many gifts when she wasn't a baby took us like three and a half hours Christmas morning. She's our only child. So we've learned to pare it down. I have things in this bag. Let's, let's get into it now that I have a six minute intro. Things I'm not good at. Brief brevity introductions. You'll also, if you are here regularly, you will notice a lot of these things are coming from hauls from Disney or other vacations during the course of the year. So I do pick up things for her like pretty consistently throughout the year. I don't just wait until the bag is empty. I don't just wait until it's holiday season to pick things up. And I still may add to this. We do have a trip planned in February to go to St. Thomas with the family. So I may add in like minis here, like her shampoo and conditioner, things like that. But these are kind of the general gifts and all of them serve a purpose. Let's get into it. I think my favorite one, there is, oh, it smells so good. So in our most recent trip to Disney, and you will see some of that trip this week. I think Thursday's video is a vlog of Magic Kingdom of shopping, including but not limited to the Disney Munchlings range. So if you don't know anything about this, but you have a Disney kiddo, Shop Disney does these as well, and they're doing a ton of sales. These are surprise boxes, which my daughter absolutely loves any blind bag situation. We tend to stick to only ones that she actually collects. I did purchase and will be posting my TikTok of me blind opening one that I wanted that came in a rectangle box. So there's three different levels of these. These munchlings, these are the different options. And if you know anything about Callie, you know that she loves Winnie the Pooh. So I actually peeked. I know it defeats the purpose of it being a blind bag, but I wanted her to get the one she wanted. So this is Winnie the Pooh and it smells like honey cake. I actually really like this um, particular box style because it's very easy to tell who you're going to get. But the Minnie Mouse Wild Strawberry Cupcake is cute. The Cinnamon Swirl Bun Mickey. There are just other characters here that I don't want. So I wanted to make sure that she was getting the right one for her birthday. We actually got her this really cute plush um, Winnie the Pooh and a set of Winnie the Pooh ears to wear on our next trip over the summer because she's very much into this. She listens to Winnie the Pooh every night when she goes to bed. She's in a, she's in a phase um, and I want to maximize on that. Let me show you. This recently came. Let me show you the other Winnie the Pooh-ish inspired items that I'm getting for her. This is from a company that is so cute. It's called Be Kind. This is the name of the company. It's a small shop. These are their, I hope you can see that down here. These are their handles. If you're looking to purchase from anything from them and there's a 20 percent off coupon code that I can give you. This is not necessarily affiliated in any way. I just want to share what I have from them. It's thank you. It's up here. Okay. So I love a company with a mission. I'm a millennial, like we all do. This company strives for, first of all, before we even get into that, look at this packaging. I don't even think I'm going to wrap these. I think I'm just going to put them in her stocking as is. This company strives to save the bees. That's their whole mission. And they have some really cute jewelry. So I loved these. This is like a mommy and me set. I did this for her on her first day of kindergarten. 
last year I got her a mommy and me set. It says side by side or miles apart. We are always close at heart. One for you, one for me. So I might actually save those bracelets until next year for her first day of second grade. I just, I think all of this line, this be kind range would be so cute in the springtime at Flower and Garden Festival in Disney World. I think they would be absolutely precious. Ooh, that's my favorite. So I think I'm going to save that for last. And I think for me, I might keep this ring. See how it looks like honeycomb, but it's like such a subtle, I'm actually going to take it out of the, and try it on. It's such a subtle nod to honeycomb and it's simplistic because most of my jewelry, despite my huge bubble bar earrings, is relatively simple. Like look how pretty that is. It would be like such a nice stacking ring too, but I could wear that and you wouldn't know that it was a honeycomb, but it is. I don't, those, that's like the type of jewelry that I really like. So I think I'm going to be keeping this one for myself. I also think that this would probably be too big for her little fingers. I'm going to see if I can put it in my ring finger. Yeah, it's going to be too big for that finger. Like how cute, how cute. Okay. And then this was my favorite. This is what reminded me of Winnie the Pooh because he's all about honey. He's a fluffy bear, all about getting those snacks. And Callie has her ears pierced. Now, <laughs> Callie has one ear pierced. For her seventh birthday, she asked to have her ears pierced. We did it. We did the whole darn thing. We braved it. She did great. And then we switched her earrings out as recommended. When we did that, this is a little gruesome. So if you don't want to hear it, block your ears, skip the next 15 seconds. The back of her earring was then embedded into her earlobe and she had to have that surgically removed. So right now she only has one earring, but the plan is to re-pierce the closed hole because we wanted to make sure that it was clean and healthy and closed. So a little bit of a traumatic experience, but she's okay. And she is willing to get that ear pierced. Now look at these earrings. One of them is a bee. So like while she has just one earring, this little bee is adorable. I dropped it, but I know where it is. <laughs> Just fell down this tiny little hole in my desk. And then the other earring is like a little honey dribble. And so you put this earring through. Let's see if I can do this without dropping. One of these holes. And it dangles. I love this. So one is a bee and one is gold honey. This is definitely going in Callie's stocking. I can't wait to give these to her. I think it's going to be a reason for her to want to get her ears pierced again. These are from Be Kind. I will link them in the description um, after this video goes live. I'm not even going to wrap this, but I, I love a company with a mission. Their jewelry is beautiful. It lasts a long time and it helps the environment. So I think that's absolutely wonderful. It also says that you can tag their shop and they'll feature your photos. And if you submit a review on your site, on their site, you'll receive a $20 gift card. So I, I just think that's wonderful. Everything they print is on recycled paper. I love the packaging that it comes with like this honeycomb. Thrilled, thrilled. I was very excited to find that for her. Okay, what's next? I think that's all we have for Winnie the Pooh. Let's get into Harry Potter. We're going from one Disney Avenue to Universal. And that's okay. That's okay. We can like both. Found this. This is a Harry Potter chocolate wand. Recently, we went to New York City. That's today's vlog. If you are interested in subscribing and being a part of our Berry Tail family, I took Callie to a super bougie Lux Hotel in New York City for a girls weekend. We did all the Christmassy things. It's one of the best weekends of my life. That's today's vlog. will be published around 1 p.m. But we went to the her Harry, I was going to say the Hermione store. We went to the Harry Potter store while we were there. And this is Hermione Granger's wand, but it's in milk chocolate. So I thought Callie would love that. Wizard spell sheet included. She does a great Hermione impression. There's far more Harry Potter stuff here than I think Disney, which is really interesting, though many of her gifts are Disney related. 
not from the Harry Potter store, but instead from our friend Target. Christmas lights are misbehaving. These are no so no show socks. Do you see why I have to edit? And they have like little cartoon Harry's. Um, I think this is Luna. Or it's probably Hermione, but why she has blonde hair? No, it's got to be Luna, right? Unknown, unknown. But it has Gryffindor colors, so I think it's probably supposed to be Hermione. We have Hogwarts crest. There's Hedwig and the castle. Just an everyday staple. This is what I mean by minimalism. That she gets like she'll get new undies, socks, probably like a hat, mittens, those types of gifts for Christmas in addition to the things she's asked for because we know they're practical. Um, we also got her, this was also from the Harry Potter store. It's a Gryffindor scarf, but it's a bookmark. <laughs> My daughter loves to read, hence why Tinsel brings the book every single day during the month of December. Um, and she actually pointed this out and was like, this is a bookmark, how cute, because at night, she tends to lose her page because she falls asleep reading while she's listening to Winnie the Pooh. So I thought that would be really cute for her and her nighttime routine. And we just finished the third book. We're into the fourth book. What did you get twice? Oh, you purchased from Be Kind twice? So there's a chat running. And if you're watching this not live, I promise I'm not just talking to myself, though it is 100% something that I would do. Look at this. It's a time turner in Gryffindor colors and the sand actually moves and it's glittery. I thought this was amazing. I think she's going to love this. Um, it says Gryffindor on this little keychain and she keeps like a collection of keychains on her backpack and her little side bags that she wears. So most of them are Lego figurines. She has Winnie the Pooh, Harry Potter, Hermione, and Elsa. So every time we go to a Lego store, it's now a tradition that we get her a little keychain to add to her collection. And this will be a lovely addition. But I think, I'm assuming this isn't glass, but I can't guarantee it. So I feel like it would not be a good placement on her school backpack, but more on like special bags that she gets to carry. A staple, the Disney chocolates. So these are adorable. They're little chocolate coins. We put them in the freezer after she opens them and then she gets to eat them all year round. Oh, and I have, that's for my sister. It's not for Callie, silly. We have a bunch of writing utensils here. I found this pencil, pencil, pencil. Yes, it's a pencil at my local tea shop in the Mashby Commons. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like stuff in the cap. When she is done using this as a pencil, you can see here that it says basil. You plant this in the ground in a pot. I'm going to put this in her garden and it is supposed to sprout basil. So you're using absolutely every part of this. It's like a recyclable thing. A few years ago, my sister-in-law gave my sister, who is a teacher also, a bunch of different like veggie pencils like this. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I saw this when I was picking up tea for my husband and was like, yes, this is for the stocking. And then in one of our most recent Disney hauls, I bought two of these by accident. So one's going to be for me, but it's like a little Minnie Mouse pencil. Again, I don't know how effective this eraser is going to be. Like, honestly, if you stretch it, I think it will break, but it's cute. I think she'll love it. She loves a good journal. One of her bigger presents is a Harry Potter journal. It's maroon. It says Gryffindor on the top. And then I had it personalized with her initials in gold at the bottom. So she likes to document when things, special things happen. Um, and because we are going on a trip in February, no, April to St. Thomas, I think she'll want to bring this along. So I thought this was really cute. And I have one too. We can match. I also picked this up, honestly. I don't remember why. I think it's just a pen. Maybe it's because there was a 30% discount when I was in Disney um, two trips ago in September. And I just got really excited and saw this and was like, oh, Callie will love it. And she will. But like, I don't, I don't remember what the purpose of purchasing this. There's no like sentimental reason behind it, except that it is Minnie Mouse. And then I also, this was an advanced purchase before Callie had her earring incident. I purchased her some Kate Spade 
studs because she's always looking at my earring drawer. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to give these to her. I don't want her to feel badly. I know that she's getting the Be Kind Winnie the Pooh earrings, but she could also wear one of those at a time. I'm not sure that this is a kind gift to give her. Um, so we shall see. We can hold on to these um, until possibly post Christmas as well. But that's what's going in her stocking. Uh, to come, maybe some minis for like shampoo, conditioner, and travel. Definitely some undies. Maybe a gift card to some of her favorite places uh, in town. Like we have a bookstore that she loves. But I'm trying to keep her stocking simple because I do wrap everything. Let me show you the wrapping paper. Isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? It's Santa on a reindeer unicorn. I got this at TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. And I do hide the wrapping paper so that the wrapping paper from us versus the wrapping paper from Santa are different, right? Like that's parenting 101 when it comes to Christmas and tinsels wrapping paper separate. So we have a lot of wrapping paper, but I bought this this year. It was definitely not expensive, $3.99 for this whole roll. And this will definitely do her stocking stuffers and probably most of her gifts, but I just loved how cute he was. I don't know if you can see how cute he is in the light, but I just absolutely loved him. Thank you, Katie. So we're trying to keep it minimal. It'll definitely fill her stocking. Stay tuned on Instagram because I'm certain on Christmas Eve that I'll like take a picture of her stocking. I love this. I'm going to keep this ring on all day. I love it. I like that it's like adjustable and subtle. So again, I will put the be kind information in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were having a magical Christmas season. We will see you what quite literally later today. I love you. Thank you for being here. Bye everybody.